Right, today is the big departure day. And I'm having an early start, it's just not long after eight. And already, we've had a camper go. I think I saw a caravan go. Um, and as you can see, it always rains here at the nurseries on a bank holiday Monday. Well, only on a Easter bank holiday Monday. All right, so the first little job I'm going to do is I'm going to go and open up the mower shed. And the reason being is I know somebody's put a, an awning in here last night. Um, just here, they just uh, took down their awning, which was a very wise move. So I'm just going to open this up and then if they need to get hold of that, they can get hold of it easy enough. Uh, yeah, there was even thunder and lightning on the forecast today. So, in the next three hours, the site should go from full, or, or very full, to very empty. I mean, bring, trying to bring Russia out since about half seven, um, and she hates walk, being walked in the rain. Anyway, it's drizzling. And I'll just check the site now that there's nobody gonna, well, nobody should be able to leave before I get back to the office. So just giving Russia a very quick leg stretch. And she'll probably end up run, running back to the, uh, back to the caravan. She just absolutely, flat. she's, oh, I'm on a bit of a jog here. She hates being walked in the rain. She absolutely does not like the rain in any shape or form. So that's the touring area. The part is all done for today. And going back a few days ago when we canceled the grass pitches, we knew we were gonna get um, rain today, Easter Monday. It's been on the forecast for a week. And I've seen some pictures of some campsites in different parts of the country that opened up the sites to touring pitches on grass. And some of those pitches are now trashed for probably a couple of months. So I don't know whether this camera is gonna show what's going on here. Well, this is worse now than it was even last week. Um, so, and again, these ones here. standing pitch down here I'm not gonna get a registration number in it's back again <sighs> unbelievable absolutely unbelievable so just gonna knock, knock the car reg number in but yeah so that was that was dried out yesterday on it it's just I don't know what to say um, so this one here and again if you were looking on videos we did Put a load of extra gravel on this one, but this is the only uh, hard standing, and it's it's awful. And I leveled off these ones, um, and then over the weekend, just going to have a look down here. We had two uh, two no-show tent pitches, so they should have been down on the camping area. Down here, the back of the site, uh, and these, ironically enough, these pitches aren't too bad for tents. The problem we've got is uh, is car parking. It's like where do, where do people park the car? But even even down here, it's puzzled up. And then this pitch here. Uh, I've never seen this before. Um, these guys had been on for a few days. They should have left this morning, but they saw the weather forecast and left a day early. But look at this. Uh, 
Um, so we also had um, a small tent. I, I can't remember if I mentioned this. Um, up by the pod last night for one night. I was up about quarter past seven, half seven this morning. I looked outside and the tent had gone. So I thought, you know, hey ho. And basically when I came to do a check of the bins, I found the remains of a tent that had been trashed overnight. But fortunately, as I say, um, my boss took a very, very, very sensible and wise decision to cancel seven pitches and all being well the weather's going to change and the next busy time for us is going to be the maybank holiday that's only three weeks away and all being well our pitches have not been trashed and um, this one here just don't i need to get grass seed on this this has just ended up i'm i'm literally doing one step forward and two steps backwards <coughs> And then we've got another, just never seen it like this. Um, we keep calling this a swimming pool. So this is um, down the bottom end of the seasonal areas. And this is now, well, you can see how far up it's come. I mean, this is, never, never, never had it like this before. Um, and then what we did do last night and for two nights we did have um somebody on this island on the seasonal area here um so we were able to do that because we got some car parking for um for the vehicles but yeah i've never never seen a site like this and just funny enough i was just took into um Talking in the cafe this time last year, roughly, this is just so bad, um, would be when I gave my notice in um, the Haven Holidays. My adventures for the nurseries was to begin towards the end of April. Oh, bloody hell, look at this. Absolutely bonkers. Right. That's all the toilets and everything is all all cleaned. And I've only got one check in this afternoon as well. Um, so a relatively quiet afternoon. So I've got another pitch, number three. Uh, uh, just taking down there, only there, going a couple of days early because of the weather forecast. Right, that's the mower shed down. And the couple of arrivals for this afternoon um, are all in. And I am going to be doing, I think I made, I don't know if to incorporate this or do a separate video. I have got quite an amazing uh, lamp, camp light stroke torch. Um, and I've been pretty selective if I get offered anything to do a product review. And this is really the mutts nuts. It's really, really good. Um, so I've got that to film this week and Everybody that's on the site for today are now on the site. All right, blue sky for the nurseries. Look there, it never rains. But over in the distance, now the GoPro is not going to pick this up. We have got the sound of a very, very loud thunder in the distance. So whether or not we're going to miss it, we'll wait and see. But there was thunder and lightning on the forecast this afternoon. And there's been a couple of really big, big collapse of just just clapped over my head. Well, not over my head, but you know, over that way. Right, I was in the office. So all week, all weekend, we go an entire weekend, we don't get any vehicles stuck on the ground or anything like that. It's, um, we've done absolutely amazing this weekend. You see the sun's out, that thundercloud packed us. And um, what do I, uh, Tesco delivery um, person? You all right, Dan? Causing a bit of havoc again? Me, any problems? I've done nothing wrong. No, are you sure? A lady driver. Yeah, did, what, 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 were the, what were the words that I gave her? I said, whatever you do, don't go on the grass. And what were the words I gave her? Do not go on the grass. Completely ignored us. And what did she do? Fortunately, we got a guy with a great big four before and we managed to... Um, we managed to get a toe out. All right, so after all that shenanigans, what a palaver that was. Um, 
So I've just been with, with Mark and so tomorrow is my sort of shop day and I'm hoping to get to a phase where I can start having a Tuesday off so I've just been um, looking at everything for tomorrow. Oh, that's the other thing I've been doing as well. I've, um, I've fixed my lock to my gate so I can put a lock on that when I finish work. Um, hey, Rachel. Oh, Rachel, what are you doing? Hello. See, have you come out to see me? What have you been doing? Have you been a good girl? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? The ground, keep off the grass, Russia. This is my garden. Unbelievable. So the weather forecast now is, at the weekend, it's meant to clear up. Then the long-term weather forecast going into next week, so that's a week away, allegedly, we're in for an amazing heat wave. Because it never rains, never rains here at the nurseries. Right. Oh dear, what a day. Um, so yeah, this vlog is a more of a campy site wardenly type vlog, isn't it? About um, the tribulations and working on a site. So we're just out with uh, out with Russia. So we've still got a great big conifer hedge to cut. Um, maybe next week we can get on with that. But the rain has been, yeah, it really has been something else. And funny enough, the the wind's getting up now as well. I don't know whether the GoPro's picking up the, the wind noise or not, but uh, yeah. Serious big puddles. Look at these. Unbelievable. I don't know if you can see the water down the dike is uh, all filling up. And I'm not seeing, oh, bloody hell, it's wind out. I'm not seeing the ducks for uh, for a couple of days, neither. All right, let's have a look down the uh, down the lane with the sun behind me and see what uh, see what we can observe, shall we? Unbelievable how wet everywhere is. Absolutely unbelievable. Right, so I'm going to wrap this video off here. Uh, a bit of a short one. And uh, if you're a new subscriber, a new viewer, and you found my channel um, in recent times, thank you ever so much for being here. Come on, Russia. Um, oh, the dog's on the sniff. And as ever, if you're not really subscribed, you know, there's a button down there and a like button. And I'm going to say, tootle pip to you.